those are some of the things that I want to walk through today. Those benefits of a blended learning model, structured literacy in a blended learning model, which is so critical because structured literacy, one of the key principles is being diagnostic and having a data piece to be able to drive that instruction is really beneficial for our students and for us as teachers makes that easier to differentiate that instruction. And then I'm going to talk about specific available resources that we're offering for free for you to look at and navigate it as you start to um, wherever you're at on that journey, wherever you put that in, that we can help support you in that, um, get you more comfortable, show you what resources those are, whatever that may be, we'd love to help. Um, and excited to be able um, to be here today in this platform with um, Lex Plore. So great to be able to assess these students both orally and silently with that eye tracking to be able to see we had know so much from evidence about how students manage the page um, and what that fluency is telling us about their decoding skills and how important automatizing those decoding skills is for these students. Um, to have that data point to know where they're at and then to be able to um, I know there was a webinar offered yesterday looking at the science of reading and talking about the theory of that and and so often I think the difficulty for us as educators is going from theory to practice and also from data to now what do I do with that and so this is something where we're excited to partner with um, to be able to come in and say okay now that you've got that data what do you do with it and how do you implement the science of reading from theory to practice that becomes really helpful and one of the ways that it can be done is in a blended learning model so let's talk about blended learning what that is specifically so it really is taking the power of the teacher and the power of technology and combining them when it first kind of came out as a big buzz um, it was, there was a little bit of a disconnect where it was like, well, if we just have technology in our classrooms, then we're doing blended learning. You know, if we've got a technology piece, as long as they're on the software for a certain number of minutes a week, then we're covering that. What was really missed in translation was the point that these two are supposed to be working in tandem and speaking to each other for the success of our students, that it really is about taking some of that instructional burden off of teachers so that the software can provide really differentiated instruction for our students. And that then based on that, where you've got that valid data, because that's largely, you've got a controlled environment with how that instruction is being disseminated in an online platform then you've got that data to be able to take and inform even more effectively our instruction, especially in that small group and one on one time for our students. So it really is taking the benefits of both. You can never take out that human element like for here for the motivation, the personalization, the feedback. But then you've got the tracking control. You've got autonomy for the students to be able to guide their instruction, which is such a motivation factor. Those are all key pieces of the benefits of a blended learning model. So um, this is something that was really helpful in my connection as I started to understand about what questions should we be asking as administrators, as educators, as we're implementing blended learning in our school or district.